G'day guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, that's right, I am using the Garmin R10 and XPUT in GS Pro. I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up and exactly what steps you need to take to get this working. What does this mean for the Garmin R10? This means you can now use it in GS Pro with the XPUT. I've shown the XPUT off on the channel before. For me, the XPUT is fantastic because it's a unit that you get straight out of the box, you plug it in and use it, it connects up seamlessly. You don't have to dial it in. I know you can use the webcam putting and I've shown the webcam putting off on the channel before. If you want an in-depth look at how to get that working, definitely check out Triple Bogey Golf. I'll link his channel in the description below, but Ben has shown how to get that dialed in the webcam putting. I personally, I like the XPUT. It's plug and play, it's very simple. For someone like me, I like plug and play simplicity. You've gotta get a couple of things, an HDMI capture card. I'll show it all, all off in this video today. Okay, so first off, um, you will notice that in my sim room, it is a bit brighter and that's because I have the lights on. The reason I have the lights on is because the X part behind me needs light for the actual camera system to pick up the golf ball moving on the mat. So if you're gonna set this up, you could potentially get some lighting just over your X part. If I was gonna do this permanent as a full-time solution, I would have just maybe a light bar that goes over my XPUT mat so my camera can read it and then keep my room as dark as possible. The reason I want it as dark as possible is for the projector. As you can see, the projector behind me, it is it looks very washed out on the actual video. If I move, you can see that's more realistic. It, I have an amazing projector. I've got the um, BenQ LK936ST. It's a 4K laser projector. It is amazing. It's extremely bright. My room right now is very bright. I've got all my lights on. I've got lights over my hitting mat. I've got lights over the front of my area. So it is extremely bright in this room. You can still see the image looks really good and it looks really crisp. However, if you've got a projector that's not as um, powerful, not as bright, this can, this can cause an issue. So you've got to really think about your setup and think about putting light just over the actual X part or potentially just having you know your X part positioned in your room where it's gonna get light so the actual camera system can, can actually see the ball. Okay, so starting from scratch, if you're gonna do this setup, you're gonna need obviously the R10, you're gonna need an X part, you're gonna need GS Pro and you want to buy the open API version of GS Pro. When you go to their website, it'll have a bunch of different versions, choose the open API version. You're gonna need a HDMI cable. So I've got an HDMI cable plugged into a video capture card, a video HDMI capture card. You can buy these on Amazon, they are dirt cheap. And you're gonna need that plugged into your computer. That, I've got a 10 meter HDMI cable going from my computer all the way snaking up to behind, connecting into my X putt just here. And when you do this, the X putt's very light, so it'll tip over, so just have something just to weight it down. Or if you're gonna do this as a permanent solution, you could potentially mount your X putt on the wall. There's a bunch of different options. Those are the things you're gonna need for this to work. The other thing you're gonna need is the Springbok connector. So Springbok has just come out with this connector. It connects multiple launch monitors to GS Pro. The ones that you can Bluetooth are the Garmin R10 and the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. The others are using the OCR, the um, capture technology. This version of the connector, it Bluetooths the Garmin R10. It's actually using the OCR, the actual screen capture um, method for the X part, and I'll show that. Okay, so I've shared my desktop now, and what you're gonna need to download, like I said, is the actual MLM2 Pro connector, this connector, I'll link it in the description. I have got a video showing how to download this. It's very simple, download it. What you'll get in your downloads is you'll get a version that is compressed or zipped. If you double click that, and then if you double click anything in that, double click the connector itself, it'll ask you if you wanna extract all, say extract all, it'll then pop up with a uh, where to save it. Once you extract it, I'll just do it just for the purpose of this video. It'll extract it, pop up with a new file system. And now you can move that new file system off to the side, close the compressed zipped one. And then what I do is I go back to my downloads and you'll see that today I've just um, uncompressed that folder. I will just drag and drop that onto my desktop so then I know where it is. So from there, you're gonna have all of these, um, these windows, these programs in here. 
ignore them all. What you want to open is the actual one that says application. Now, don't drag and drop this outside the folder. This needs to live inside that folder because it's going to get all the data from all these other things. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to launch that and it's going to pop up with um, this window. Now, I have connected my XPART, so that's why it says XPART there. But what I'm going to do is I'll walk through some of these tabs and I'll show you how to get this set up. So first off, we're going to go to this settings icon. What you'll see here is you'll see GS Pro and then you'll see launch monitor. This is where you can select your launch monitor. I have just been playing with the Garmin just to make sure it all works. So Garmin was selected for me and BT stands for Bluetooth. You can use your MLM2 Pro in the old OCR method. You can use your MLM2 Pro in Bluetooth mode. I have shown that. You've also got full swing kit, Mevo Plus, TrackMan, Tr uh, True Golf Apogee, and then you've got this relay server. Now, you can use a TrackMan using the OCR capture technology and pair it with an XPUT. So now you're going to get the best of both worlds. You can use a full swing kit in the same way. You can pair the XPUT to your Mevo Plus. You can combine the XPUT with the Mevo Plus with the True Apogee, uh, True Golf Apogee. So there are a lot of devices that you can use with this connector. But today, like I said, we're going with the Bluetooth. Okay, so once you've got Garmin R10 Bluetooth selected, selected, you can click Save. For me, I'm just going to click Close because I already had it selected. Then I'm going to launch this putting um, icon up the top there. And for the putting method of choice, I have got my X putt, so I'm going to select X putt. Okay, so we've got X putt selected. Auto start camera app, leave it as yes, uh, because that is just going to auto start the camera app when you launch this connector. Camera app window tile, uh, leave as camera, and then ROIs, we're going to play with those in a second. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually select start from the putting menu. And what you'll see is it pops up with a window for your camera. Now, this top right-hand corner, you've got this change camera button. That's going to cycle through all your cameras that are connected up to your laptop. What I need to do is I need to turn on my x -Putt. So I'm going to turn that on, and that's just booting up. And then what I can do is hit this little camera icon in the top right-hand corner. It'll cycle through all the different cameras. And then it will hopefully, uh, looks like another app is using the camera already, we'll close that. And what you'll find is when you hit that enough times, it'll cycle through your cameras and it'll finally find the X part. Like I said, this has been fed to your, uh, to your computer through the video capture card. I'll link it in the description. It'll make sense when you see it. All you do is go video capture card into your laptop and then uh, the HDMI cable into the other side of the video capture card. And then the other side of the HDMI cable, you plug into your X part. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate through the menus of my X putt. So I'll go JLAG and then it will sync with the putting mat. What I might do is I'll move that ball. It might be confusing it. Ah, it's found it. We'll go OK. Play at your own risk. And then from there, just go to classic, practice. And then I just choose a fixed distance of 30 feet. It doesn't really matter. Go start, and now we should have the practice facility there um, with our X part on our computer. That is important because now we're going to go back to the connector. Uh, we're going to go stop. Uh, we'll go. Actually, sorry, I should have selected start. Going to go into this top corner again. Uh, going to go into the icon that has the putting there, and we're going to select ROIs, regions of interest. And we'll select that. Uh, before we continue, please take a shot. Okay, we've got to hit a putt. So we'll hit a putt. And for the purpose of this, it doesn't matter how you hit this putt. Just hit any putt. Uh, and you'll see that that just registered in the X putt. And then we'll select the little OK. And this is where you're going to have your regions of interest. Now, I did set mine up before and they were accurate, but it's lucky that I pulled this window up because it looks like they're slightly off. Now, I don't have stickers on my putter, so I'm not getting putter path or impact angle, as you can see. This doesn't really matter for GS Pro. GS Pro doesn't need them, but if you want to see those on your screen, then have stickers on your putter, and the XPUT will send the data through to GS Pro. For the purpose of today, I'm not too fussed. I'm, I'm not going to put stickers on my putter because I'm going to actually go play outside. So we'll go save. And then that says ROIs have been updated. You can do the verify if you want before you hit save. Um, so that's that. Okay, so now putting is set up. 
we can actually, I'll move that off to my second screen. Okay, so putting is set up, settings have been updated. Now I'm going to connect up my Garmin R10. I will turn it on because it's gone to sleep. Okay, the Garmin R10 is on. And the way you connect this is different to the MLM2 Pro. You do actually connect the Garmin through the settings on your computer, through the Bluetooth settings. So open your Bluetooth settings. What you'll see is I've got Garmin R10. Right now it says not connected. Make sure if you're gonna do this, I've shown, I've got a whole troubleshooting video on how to connect the Garmin R10. If you're having issues, just search Joe Legaski Golf Garmin R10 or Bluetooth connector troubleshooting. I've got a whole video on how to do it. What I will say is make sure that your devices that are connected to your R10, just make sure that they are, have Bluetooth off or that Garmin R10 is not connected to them because what it'll do, it'll, it'll prioritize your mobile devices over your laptop. Right now it says not connected, but if I go into this connector and I hit start, we should see that change to connected. And the reason for that is because I have all of my um, devices that are connected to my Garmin, I have those off. So it'll, it'll sometimes say paired, it'll sometimes say not connected. All you've got to do is use this launch monitor, um, use the connector, hit connected, it'll work. Okay, from there, we actually have everything connected to Springbox connector. Now I can launch GS Pro. Okay, now I'm gonna pull up the uh, connector again now that GS Pro is launched. And you'll also have, when you launch GS Pro, this um, AP1, uh, API V1 connect, that's the open API connect. As soon as I hit connect on Springbox connector, you'll see that this red line at the top of the open API will go green and it will say connected. And that's exactly what you can see there. Um, it does have launch monitor saying interference test, but I think we are good to go. Okay, so welcome to the GS Pro practice facility. What I'm gonna do is I'll go to putter and we'll start off with a five foot putt. So to actually get putting working, to get it, to get this connector saying, hey, look at the putting metrics, you have to have putter selected down the bottom left. Whenever you hit the green on GS Pro, GS Pro will automatically select putter for you. But if you wanna putt from the fringe, you have to select putter. So that's a tip. Okay, we've got a five footer, putter is selected. Let's just hit a nice five foot putt. And we made it. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, let's just see that the, the uh, actual R10 is working as well. We'll just hit a couple of chip shots. Now I recommend chipping with the Garmin R10 I personally recommend using normal balls. You can use RCT balls, but I find that with chipping, for whatever reason, I seem to get issues when I use RCT balls with the Garmin R10. Okay, 26 yard shot, we'll land at about 16. 17.9, not a bad shot. What you'll notice with the Garmin R10 is the shot goes into the GS Pro world instantly. I mean, it is instant. We'll hit another shot. hit the ball and it's straight away into the world. And that is fantastic. And now we have the Garmin R10 connected via Bluetooth and we have the XPUT connected with the same connector and we're able to play GS Pro in its entirety with the Garmin R10. I mean, that's fantastic. The XPUT is expensive, I'll give it that, but I use that thing so much, N not in this situation, I, I will use it when I'm inside or when I go away with work, I take it away with me so I can practice putting. Let's hit a couple more putts. So what I'll do is I'll just grab my golf ball. I'll go chuck it on the green, 13 feet. Might be a little hard and a little bit to the right, but everything is working and man, this is so cool. All right, guys, that is the setup video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully that helps. If you are looking to get this set up, I highly recommend for me personally, the best budget device you can get is the MLM2 Pro because it gives you that correct spin axis. But the Garmin R10 is fantastic. It is such a good device and it is the cheapest device because there's no subscriptions. Pairing it with the XPUT and GS Pro, it's just, it's insane the enjoyment and the quality you can get for such a cheap price. It is really incredible. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, let me know. Stay tuned because I will now be going and playing nine holes on GS Pro using this setup. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.